linears with, okay. with strings and stuff like that. That took two hours to put together. And then it was midnight and we ran out of time. We're recording. This is the first absolute print, correct? Oh, yeah. That is really so the kiss goes really slow on that last layer. That's why I think it, we think something's going wrong. Let me pull it. Now it goes really slow. Yeah, the outer perimeter is slower. Okay, let's, I'm going to put a can of soda pop for reference in size. You can put the can of soda pop on it. I don't know what it's going to do when it's done. You should try to <laughs> uh, oh, remember your remember your like your tall um, uh, Now how tall was that print? Ten millimeters? So I'm I'm thinking in this case we'll go for or is it a small diameter. Let's, let's get a mailing tube. No, tube. it's it's shorter. Okay. How about a mailing tube delta box? Uh, fits in the mailing tube. It's uh um, post <laughs> size. <laughs> Please hold right, while yeah, I like you're, you're think for line. a second. <laughs> We're 16 of 40 layers. <laughs> the, the corners look like they're curling up, but isn't that like a PLA thing? Is the fan running? Turn your fan off. Fan is running. It's probably cooling too quickly. Too quickly? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it could be. Is the fan actually running? Ooh, yeah. Did it stop for a second? Oh, you know what KISS does? KISS runs it on the perimeters and turns it off for the infill. So it'll turn on and then off and then on and then off. Crazy KISS. Yeah. I just wonder by the time it finally comes down the street, it turns it on again. I don't like that really slow extra perimeter. It, 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 I think it's going to make things too hot. I think my well, to me, you're in the view. Oops, From my experience, you're at the bottom end of the... <laughs> I, I want to, uh, after we get a successful print, I want to abuse the thing while it's printing. I want to pick it up, turn it around, see if it still goes. Five degrees of movement. Is that the... Uh, How many degrees? So we're on 22 of 40. We can lay it on its side. Well, that was easy. So what's your... Uh, let me boost the speed. Well, can you increase the speed in the Petier while it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I can change the flow rate, too. Now, would, huh. it does, that doesn't seem to do anything on mine. It doesn't? With Marlin. I thought I read you had to have some... You needed the other firmware for that. Oh, it changes the... Um, I thought it changes the... Um, G code as it goes out. That's what I would expect it to do, but they made it so when I it doesn't didn't seem to do much. I had it down to like seventy percent. I didn't really see any notice. Difference. I saw a tiny difference. Yeah. Maybe it's a placebo because so I think it works. The G code isn't buffered or anything. It just goes. It's like you can, you can actually so. see how much the G code is buffered by watching the. Um, uh, yeah, when it's doing like straight infill. It'll, it'll, it fills all the lines up, yeah. and the printer catches up, mm -hmm. but when you get to the curvy... You know what mine does? It irritates the hell out of me. It'll get like an hour into a print, and then anything that has curves in it, you know, where there's a lot more G-code going in, it just goes... Zzz, 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 zzz. And then a couple layers later, it'll run full regular speed again. Hmm. Like there's... But I don't get any checks and errors or anything like that, so I don't I know. I should have really uh, made a really sparse infill, too. It's an infill that means nothing on this print. What layer are you on now? 32. I have no idea what it's going to do when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, you tell it what to do. Actually, I can probably figure out what it's going to do. You said the conveyor is like 18 inch? That's what I asked. Do you have your calipers ready to measure exactly the. Uh, it's going to zero the x axis. So if I, a straight G28 is zero all, right? I think so. Let's see if it'll take it on the fly. So with the delta. Is that going to zero down or up? It, a G2, just a G28 like at the beginning. So what, with the delta, what's x, y, and z? I mean, uh, Oh, it's they're all the same. Like home is going to be the limit switch, yeah, so is not the other way, right? Mm -hmm. 
It's oh, not good. the limit switches? I thought it's not going to yes. go back up by itself. We're on 38 now. So we should start doing solid though. Yeah. But it's not going to go back up to 67.9 after it hits the switches, is it? No, it'll say that though. I'll have the emergency stop ready. <laughs> Now, if it gives us something bigger, because I have Well, that's the reset button for the ammo right there, right? To build everything on 120 inches. Come on, little bit. So. This is 39. Okay. We're, we're getting ready to the end. Is it going to be a disaster? You recorded the whole thing? <laughs> yep. Well, it, it started before I recorded, but. I think, no, I think it's if it's one command that sends it crashing into the If it head, tries to zero X, it's going to be a slight disaster, but not a massive disaster. Their, their design is a double leg. Well, we, there was a G28 in the beginning, and that didn't hurt anything. It's going to do its little dance, probably. No, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Much to do over nothing. It's stuck. It's not going to home? Wait, wait, wait. Don't kill it. I was waiting for a temperature change. Not to home. Well, no, you meant you, maybe it's a, something with the heater. I, I don't know what they use because I asked okay, them to well, do 2D and 3D. Should we have a nice round of applause yeah. for the, uh, yay. Ooh. Connect. 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 Disconnect, connect. And I 